Hello everyone, it's me, and I'm here again today to play some more Night in the Woods. I'm very excited, so <laughs> let's just get in. <laughs> yeah, last time we hung out with Beatrice a lot. And we got into a fight, and I'm still really upset about it. <laughs> um, actually, let's see. Is she, is she gonna talk to us? She talked to us last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Annual Harfest played a night at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She mentioned that the pickaxe is hosting the Harfest play today, which. <laughs> I'm really- I hope that's gonna be a, a whole thing, because I want to see it so bad. <laughs> Happy Halloween, dude. Uh, get spooked or something. <laughs> Is it Halloween? I thought the Harfest went from, like, October 21st to the 24th or something. Alright, well, it's, ba it's base time. <laughs> Oh my god, really? <laughs> I know, I know that I can do it. <laughs> god, I I don't know or think it'll happen, but I think that our band should play at the Harvest Festival. Ah! <sighs> I really can't believe that. <laughs> oh, I was so close. I was concentrating so hard. <sighs> All right, well. I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller. A regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. <laughs> Screw it. I am sturdy. <laughs> yeah, my... Oh, whoops. Uh, get some confidence. Oh, did, um... I think, I think her dad said that he would finally move these boxes. Did... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Whoa. You just like have this in your house? Uh, oh wait, <laughs> I know how to open this. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 20, right 15. Thanks granddad, okay. I didn't have to, <laughs> I didn't have to write anything down, that's good. <laughs> it's opening. What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement? Well, never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth. We're gonna go far. I'll take it. Okay. Alright. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> The tooth is how you unlock the secret ending. <laughs> That's my prediction. Hey, trash bird. So mean. So mean to the bird. The floating island. Jeez. I'm old. <laughs> hey, mom. Uh-huh. Um... You okay? Sure, honey. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Oh, no. Um, okay. Not really. Uh, 
Um, okay. So what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Ugh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I am all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we made as a family. Oh, no. Oof. Okay, so I guess, I guess her parents do know that she dropped out or, like, found out somehow. Oh, no. Jeez, Mom. Where is this coming from? You know you're the... You're the... Probably, like, family something. Oh, first. The first Borowski to go to college. Oh. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was, like, six. Hmm. Well, honey, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Oh my god! Ugh! Jesus! Like, I understand that, you know... You know, putting your child through school is is a lot of money and very stressful. Like, I, I know. <laughs> but, and you know, to drop out of school is, ugh, I don't know. That, ugh, that, I don't, I don't like, I do not like the way that she is handling this. Oh my god. Jeez. Are you, like, having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like I'm the moody one in this house. Oh my god, where? Oh my god. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. Oh my god. What? What's happening to the house? Oh my god, maybe it just isn't where we should be. Oh my god. Mom, this isn't funny. You know what? F off. Ooh. Oh god. Hmm. I... Hmm. I, I almost want to... I almost want to do that, but like... Oh. I don't, I don't even know if I, I could, I don't even know if I can bear to see, <laughs> to see that. <laughs> Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Oh my god. Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to... Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. <sighs> I'm leaving now. <sighs> oh. Oh, the, ooh. Oh, it's hitting. Oh, it's hitting. Oh, it's hitting. <laughs> I don't want to get into personal stuff about my own life, but oh, it's hitting. Oh my god. Ooh. Huh? A squeaker? You squeaking? Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. <laughs> Wanna hear a new poem? Yes, 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 yes. 
bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved. Pizza I'd saved. The pizza cold is breakfast gold. <laughs> I like this one's good. This is a good poem. That's so true. It really happened. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You gonna Harfest? Nah, stay in here for the trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Harfest is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? No, I'm not. Eh. Have some have some joy and spark in your life, Selmers. <laughs> I guess it is Halloween if there are trick-or-treaters, but I thought the Harfest poster said that it was like a week ago. <laughs> oh, whatever. Don't touch my pumpkin. <laughs> Ugh, I love Halloween. <laughs> I like holidays in general, but I think Halloween might be my favorite. I don't think... Yeah, he's not up there today. Uh... Ooh, little decorations. Oh no. What do these guys want? That Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record at Harfest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Oh. Shut up, Andrew. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. Oh my god, you're the one that started those. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. Fine then. I'll send all lawsuits your way. It'll be fine. Bring it, Colleen. Oh my god, Squeaker. Not the gun. Oh. Hi, Aunt Molly. Hey, Aunt Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, my. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for. What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't want to do that with a, without a gun. <laughs> you know how many times I've shot someone? No. Tell me now. Once. Ooh. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. <laughs> that would be impressive. I'll look into it. All right, let's go to church and get berated by our mother again. <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah, I didn't want to talk to you either. <laughs> I forget her name, but she's not here. She, oh, maybe she's like out talking to Bruce. Oh, I'm just, I'm so excited for the horror festival. <laughs> I've been looking forward to it. Like, since, since I ended the last part, I was like, oh, next time is the Harvest play. I'm so excited. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Breathe some fire already, dude. Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. Oh no. A date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling me, heading out, and then, and then not sh Oh. Someone calling me, heading out, and them not showing up. You were meeting them at the statue of Saint Rubello. Yeah, the fire breathing guy like eight people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. 
But yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But can't we learn something from Saint Rubello? Breathe fire? Eat people? <laughs> Eat people. Sure. This statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts outreach. It's working. How's the situation? The situation? Uh, with Bruce and stuff. Eh. We wait and see. And pray. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to, you know, bash religious faith, but waiting and praying only does so much, you know? You're like, you know, you have to do stuff, but I mean, I don't, I don't know what's going on behind this. You gonna go down to the Harfest tonight? Dunno. Maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. Well, be, I suppose. Wee! Uh, huh? Huh? Not whatever this is. Uh, hey. Hello. Hey. Traveler from distant land, you have journeyed far, and it has brought you here. Um, to us. Uh, actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home. We will tell of your future, but first, be truthful. Tell us. Which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow broken? A bro broken, really? I, um, uh... You're all like 14-year-old gods. Why am I answering this? <laughs> Wasn't there, like at the very start of the game, wasn't there like a, like a thing? I don't remember very well, but I'm going with this one. On my way into town in the playground, this old ja yeah, so I, I remembered. H how did you... <laughs> so they, if they're 14 year old goths, they probably hang out at the weird playground. You have answered well. We will peer into your future and give you what help we can. In the coming dark. What, daylight savings ending? <laughs> Alright, go for it. Tell us first, what is God in this place? Oh, wow, uh... Is it caring but absent? Uncaring but distant? Aren't, aren't those the answers that we had for how our father described our grandfather? Vicious and roaming? Uh, can we go with nice and helpful? <laughs> okay, fine. Caring and absent. Uncaring and distant. Vicious and roaming. Definitely uncaring and distant. <laughs> I can see it. On a distant shore. Beneath the stars. Okay. We see something. In your future. We know. We know. We know. Okay already, jeez. You will swim out to sea and meet it on a distant shore. We're like six hours from the ocean. You guys are bad at this. Let's try something easier. Uh, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? Don't know, don't care. <laughs> I want tacos. I'll have them soon. We'll all have tacos soon. Okay, well, I'm gonna get going. Stop. Do you see the mystical symbol etched upon this sacred rock? The pentagram you guys drew? The spooky pentagram you teased? <laughs> we can either be normal or be an asshole. <laughs> 
<laughs> the spooky pentagram you teens drew? Shut up, it's full of mystical shit. <laughs> okay. It is the first of three. Find it thrice. And it shall find you in the dark. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna head out. You guys are adorable. And weird. But the fun kind of weird. This is serious. Like, we're not kidding. We don't care or anything. But like, dude. Alright, alright, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> For pentagrams and whatnot. Cool. <laughs> you broke your speaking order. Um, no. We're just going backwards now. Are you freaking out yet? <laughs> uh, see ya, weird goth teens. You're not gonna narc on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. <laughs> I love- uh, I love it, actually. <laughs> we need- we need to protect weird goth teenagers. Oh, is it Kate? Is that her name? Pastor Kate? I think I, I think that's what it is. Man, I love this game. <laughs> uh. See, I wasn't I was I wasn't I'm not I'm not crazy. It, it's it was from the 21st to the 24th. And yet it's supposed to be Halloween right now. I can't believe this. Though I guess like the entire month of October counts as Halloween. <laughs> Is there like anything new? <gasps> oh man, it bounces! <laughs> What about those other weird goth teens? Are they down here today? No. Oh. Uh, where is everybody? What? Oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. Well, you go easy on my street. Deal. <laughs> you know, like, carnival rides that they, you know, put together for festivals like this are really not that unsafe. Like, they're, they're put together by professionals. Oh, the Harfest! 87th Annual. Whoa. Oh, did you guys have a conversation and I missed it? Oh no. Darn. Ah, everything is so great and harfesty. Which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that, or I could wander a bit, take in the harfesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Ah, I, <laughs> I'm just so happy. I love harvest festivals. <laughs> I think these are supposed to be weather stations. Pioneer Scouts made them when they weren't playing football or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. <laughs> oh, there's a cat. Oh, how am I gonna make this jump? Okay. Years ago, I thought when I was 20, I'd never be able to climb this high up anymore. Shows what you know, little Mai. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I say, I say that like so much, but it's so pretty. Oh, more Nuke Possum Springs. Oh, what is all this graffiti say? <laughs> Not nothing, Burger. Just 
you're dumb, and then B, oh my god. I'm wondering if that's <laughs> Beatrice and Mai. Just because it's like in, in B's blue text color. It probably isn't. But that would be like a really cute little silly detail. <gasps> Ooh, the geese. Ugh. One of my favorite parts of fall is just watching the geese migrate. I love them. Oh, ooh. Sneaking into people's houses now? Oh, hello. Oh, well, huh? Oh, I... Wrong button. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wow, so this this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Bloomingrove snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. No. Oh. Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mala deserves a better memorial. Hmm. Oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? Aww. Mallard forever. <laughs> That's so cute. Mallard P. Bloomingro. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard. Dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. <laughs> oh, Mallard. How I left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. <laughs> I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Mallard, you're pregnant! <laughs> it's one of those god things. Like when you have a baby because god. Holy crap, you're the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're, um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. Oh. 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 Oh, okay, 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 bye, 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 bye. Miracle rats. Alright, well, I guess I gotta get food. It's locked. What the hell? That's a fire hazard. Oh. No, seriously, is this thing clearly marked as something it is not? I'm coming back for you, exit door. And we're gonna have a little chat <laughs> with my boot. <laughs> Worst exit, easily. So much to do, so much to see. The head on that statue always knocked off. I don't know. Oh, huh? Huh. 
Where'd it go? Hmm. We could check on the other one then. going though. Hmm. Were those the on only weather veins or were there more? I don't think I saw any more. Whoa, hello? Leave me alone, lady. <laughs> Are there any... Well, I don't know if there were any weather veins over this side. Is that what they're called? Weather vane. Maybe weather vane isn't the right word, but whatever. Oh shit. Uh -uh. I don't think there are any weather vanes. Or windmills. Whatever they're called. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Okay, 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 Mai. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel. <laughs> no movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. You've still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. Alright, let me just, like see what his movement pattern is. Easy. <sighs> we shouldn't be stealing, though, but... It's for the babies. I am the bandit queen. <laughs> All right, my little miracle rats, time to eat. <laughs> wow, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now. I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. Oh, mother of vermin. <laughs> Yeah, I think I I saw that there were like how many achievements were there? Um Yeah, there's like 30 achievements and I only have two. <laughs> and I think one of them was just for starting the game. <laughs> song is so cute. Ugh, so excited to look up the OST eventually. Oh, can I not go- can I not go in the pickaxe? I guess we'll probably see- be at the festival tonight, but... You hype for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. I'm gonna get a pizza too. All to myself. Wow, you have a life you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Ruining my life. Oh no. Uh, 
this one. <laughs> yep. Uh, see ya. Later. <laughs> oh, big raccoon. <laughs> Alright, is Ang Angie Wanky here? Yay! Happy Halloween! <laughs> hey, you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Uh, do your spooky face. <laughs> Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. <laughs> nice effort, though. <laughs> oh, I love him. What a cutie. You going to Harfest? Nah, I gotta watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch my fave highlights. Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs. See the parade. Ever seen the game live? Nah, never. Coming out to Harvest, you never know. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go smelters. Go smelters. Alright, alright guys. Yeah, have some fun. Smelters or whatever. Uh, what's in the news? Halloween crime down this year. What counts as a Halloween crime? Burning stuff, vandalism, egg and stuff. Well, the night's young. <laughs> don't you any uh don't don't you oh don't you do any pagan stuff out there. I'm gonna do all the pagan stuff. I'll call the cops if you do any pagan stuff. Cops got nothing on demons and fell spirits. Blech. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and call my aunt on me. What's she gonna do? Tell my mom? <laughs> I think that would actually be pretty bad in this case. Wait, did we pass the snack falcon already? Oh wait, no, it's over here. Gregory, what are you up to? Spooky savings. Uh, hey man. How's things? Good. Harfest rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I done got horrored. Getting horrored at work is the worst. Yeah. When is this place busy? Morning is bad. Lunch is kind of bad. After I leave is bad. Christine, the owner, comes in then. Oh, Christine, the owner, comes in then. I don't think I've ever seen Christine. I try to be out the door before she's clocked in. Nice. Anyway, you're here now and I'm here now. And it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. Oh my goodness. So what's up? Nothing. Uh, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. <laughs> is this is this is this dialogue option tricking me into hanging out with Greg and progressing the day? I am very interested in the light bulb masking, though. Hell yeah, dude. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! No! Whoa. <laughs> Ugh. Jeez, my. Oh my goodness. Boom. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, oh my god. Ow, oh, jeez. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I uh, I don't I don't I don't I don't uh, Okay. Uh I might have to replay the day. Oh no. I feel I feel bad for quitting on him. But I don't want to press the day. Uh, I do feel a little bit bad because we've been like 
completely shafting Greg this entire playthrough, and he's like my bestie. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Shoot. Well, I guess I guess we're doing this. You should try hitting it with the bat. Ugh, I'm trying. Ugh. Ow. Hit it! I'm trying, dude. Whiff. I know. I know I'm whiffing. Alright, this one. This one. <laughs> okay, no. You can't hit nothing. I know. I know. I'm a lame loser. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, what the F? Right. Oh, this one, this one, this one. Yes! This is so fucking dangerous. <laughs> Bam. Ugh. Okay, I'm done. Before I lose an eye. Okay, thank god. <laughs> it did not progress the day. That was very cute, though. <laughs> Greg rules, okay? I know, I can't wait to hang out with him. Uh, so what's up? Nothing. Let's go check on Germ. <gasps> no Halloween Germ? Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, Germ. Hey, my. Hey, I'm s uh, Scams. Scams? That's Jenna. Hi. Hi. I'm Bill Don. And I'm Germ. <laughs> I'm Mai. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Uh, hey Germ, you coming to Harfest? Eh, maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop over. Check out the party. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for real, right? Yeah. What? Little Joe, you know? Uh, yeah man, local legend. My man Tapeworm, out in Bright Harbor, he told me he never got off in this town because of the ghost. Aw, oh, that's a little crap. He sneaks into rail yards and snatches up the good and the pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear then. Nothing to fear then. Damn old timer, we're pure as the air. All right, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Uh, nice to meet you. Same, little lady. Uh, see ya, germ. See ya. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Germ is such a little guy. <laughs> and I guess... I guess that was everything. Oh! There's a weather vane on top of the click clack Weather vane, woodmill, whatever. Ugh, can I... Is it possible for me to get up there? It's gotta be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Well... Um, hmm. Might be tricky. Hmm. How do I... How do I get up there? Like, I have to be able to, right? Oh! Okay, I think... Alright, maybe I can jump from there. Okay. Oh! Ooh! Okay, 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 okay. Man, they really don't make... 
make it easy. Okay. Oh, well. It would help if I was good at platforming. Wow. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Yay! I have no clue what it means, though. But I think that's all the windmills that there were. That I remember seeing, at least. Yeah, no clue. I think... I think that's everything. Oh, here's all the boxes. I don't think those were there before. But were they from the, uh... Crawl space? Oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Yes, 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 yes! Sweet! Oh, so cute! <laughs> Witch dagger! Oh my god, so cute! Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. No sleep! Harvest! <laughs> It's so cute, so cute! Hello? Huh, they must already be out. Harvest! Harvest! <laughs> whoa, whoa, a little loud. Okay. Oh, I can't, I can't jump. Oh, hey guys! Ooh! Oh, this is so cute! Oh, I love it! Oh! So cute! Hello? I can go in the pickaxe and see B. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, the big pumpkin. Now let's go see what's in these tents. Ooh. Dare you spin the wheel of destiny? Oh, that wasn't mine. <laughs> explain. None can explain the power of the wheel. Save that is, save that it is in an unknowable circular soothsayer. Save that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh my goodness. Oh snap! Is it gonna save the sooth? I think the volume volume's still way too loud. Oh no. The sooth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. Ooh, ooh, yes. Is your arm injured? Uh, it's a little sore lately, actually. I could tell. I see all. You for- You f you fortune is your future. <laughs> a place you will soon be. Forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. Your card says much. Some days shall be like, unto the fish you keep as a trophy. Some days shall be like unto the fish you eat, and some days shall be link unto the fish you throw back. Okay, so some days are gonna be good, some are gonna be average, and some are gonna suck. I think I saw this fortune on a greeting card once. <laughs> this isn't a fortune, this is just like regular life. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is unknowable truth? You have learned much, child. 
I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. All right, then. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? <sighs> God damn it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Welcome to Harvest Spectacular Water Balloon Toss. Ooh. You know what to do. Or can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's the <laughs> Yes, do I get the hit the fucking town council with a water balloon? Ooh, you hit the spooky ghost. I'm a scary spirit and I've been hit. Oh, that should count. Gonna haunt you for that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think that should count. Oh no, you've hit the evil witch. Oh my goodness, come back here. Ah, uh, which way will I go next? Ouch, I'm gonna hex you up. Ah! Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh. Oops. I'm the pumpkin. You hit me, the pumpkin. You got me, the pumpkin. Wet. <laughs> Ouch, that one hurt me. The pumpkin. Come on, dude. I'm freezing now. The pumpkin is freezing. Rattle, rattle. I'm a skeleton. Clickety clack, you hit my bones. Click clunkety clonk, that tickled my funny bone. Oh, 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 oh. Timing, not good. Good. Whoa! Aw. Well, that sure was something. On behalf of the Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business and enjoy our historic home. Possum Springs, more like. Kathleen, no. More like Awesome Springs! Okay, we're done. <laughs> I think I did pretty okay. Let's go see. Oh, is B is B gonna be wearing a cute little costume? Oh, please say yes. Ugh, lame. Hey, hey. Uh, what you up to? Seriously. We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When is this thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think. You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! What? No, go with it, Mai. Go with it. Go with it. I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. I care about it. I care about it so much, B. <laughs> B. Please, it's a fun part. B. Yeah? I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. <laughs> Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years. To be spookier. 
So it's like 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now? Okay, weird. It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. Oh no. It starts off normal but gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. <laughs> I can wing it. Oh no. My please don't wing it. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to- oh, I missed it. To tell the, of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> Through the mists of time, I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen? From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow, and within, a great dead tree. And besides, with, uh, which a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels, and carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. Ho, oh, travelers, help an extremely old woman! Oh, travelers, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. Hmm. But let's go with, uh, this one. <laughs> Haggard witch! Horrible to look upon. Cruel young men, ye did not even, uh, ye did not even offer one to thy three hundred fine beaver pelts. To warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. I shall curse ye and thee. I want to be like as accurate to the play as possible, but <laughs> I don't. I do not know which one is the actual line I'm supposed to say. I shall curse ye and thee, and this very night ye shall perish. <laughs> I am fearful. Steady, brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. Yee hee hee! I was born among these trees, neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did anyone know. That the witch did not curse in vain. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. Help! Help! Who will help a poor traveler? Oh, Craig is here too? Oh, so fun. Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? <laughs> My, don't talk on stage. <laughs> You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch! Yep. I swear thee, fi friend, that this very day... That's a friend or fiend. This horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Swounds. We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it it ch it chilleth the heart. Hee hee hee. A curse upon rude young men. Uh, I did curse this spring, that any man who drinketh from it shall perish. <laughs> ah, I'm slain. I join thee now, Brother Stephen. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. I am also undone, for I have drank of the water. 
don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. <laughs> and yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. <laughs> Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I'm tormented by the accusing glare of three hundred ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Uh, um, crap. Improvise. Improvise, Mai. You can do it. <laughs> for, for each man is determined on his path. For what is a ghost? Hmm. For what is a ghost but that which haunts the empty space? That was once full. And once haunted can no place be unhaunted. Oh, this guy. You. From the bus station. Young witch, it is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way. So... Witch, thou hast tarried a long... Oh, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. Oh god, how did you know? I... what? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. Ooh. A almost title drop. But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. <laughs> Forest god, thou hast no power here. Ooh. My is like getting getting the play confused with 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 her maybe her dreams or something. Stay in character, my stay in character. <laughs> Even now, thy end beginneth. Ah, my internal powers. Shh, young witch, even now, the world you know endeth, and who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Ooh. Take care. <laughs> and so was founded then this festival. On Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. <laughs> the beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the country seat. Did I? I, I can't read. Yee hee hee. I think I. Oh, I think there was another option, and I accidentally clicked the uh, one. Actually, the myth of the Wicked Witch is the product of centuries of persecution by... And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local business. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks, guys. I'm never doing that again. So, what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. 
Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a, a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are gonna going to the buffet to out by Ham Panther. Kinda have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well. Good night. Night. This is garbage. Hello? Hello? Uh, what? What the? Oh my god. Uh, hey. Anyone? Shit. Oh my god, what? Uh, uh, where the hell did he go? Shit. Uh... Oh my god. My. Go home. What in the world? There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that? Ma, you shouldn't be out here doing whatever it is you're doing. N no, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, Mai. No! Mai, now. Oh my god. What in the world? Can barely see. Uh, whoa. Alright, so I guess no going backwards. My god. Ugh. Oh god, it's loud. Hello? Um, whoa. Um, okay. Yeah, achievement unlocked what? <laughs> Part three, the long fall. What the fuck? Oh my fucking what? Ugh. Ooh. <laughs> Meat. Oh my god. What the fuck? Hey Mai, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Oh, I love her. Hey dude, sorry I couldn't hang out last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice- Oh, yay! Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. <laughs> Ooh, are we gonna get a new song? Wee! Alright, well we gotta make sure we're in top fucking notch gear for band practice. Oh my goodness. I swear to god. I swear. Most of it's lag, I swear. Wow. 
Why, why is this one going so bad? I mean, I'm hitting the right key. I was thinking that, like, people have had to have made vocal covers of these songs, right? Why is it, why is it, why is the number one keep screwing up? Is my, is my key wonky? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with my key. It's either that or it's just hardcore lagging. <laughs> Come on, key. Ugh. Maybe I maybe I'll never get a full combo. <laughs> oh my god, I don't wanna I don't wanna talk to our mother. Ugh. Huh. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. We're to We're to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. <laughs> I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big ol' thing upstairs, like, like you, but different, huge, and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Aw, oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those, aww. You're just, like, the same every day. What is your bird existence like? Probably pretty terrible if it's just in a cage the whole time. Do, do, do we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course. Of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like, real-life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? Nah, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are, in fact, keeping it very close. <laughs> oh no. Hey, hon. Yeah. Come say hello, why don't ya? Oh my goodness. I don't want to speak to you right now, mother. Hey, hon. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Oh, well, at least she apologized. That's, you know, the bare minimum. Me too. I said some stuff, I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. Aww. Okay, Mom. Okay. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. Oh. Hmm. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hmm. Well, what happened? Hey, Mai. You okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later. I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Okay, aw. Alright. Okay, mom. So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, what happened? As you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, turns out it wasn't a very good deal, and I just feel so stupid. 
They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us. And now they own the house and we owe them more than it's worth. Oh no. Yeah, oh god, that sucks. Oh, what does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk? It's okay, sweetie. Don't worry. Hmm. Oh, man. What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. <laughs> My mother is into true crime podcasts. Uh, did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? <laughs> sure. All right, there's a man lying dead in a kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one, if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? You should have been a detective. <laughs> About murder? Can't solve a murder without one. <sighs> Okay, so I have a uh, so I have a question. What kind of scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? What else is in the room? Hmm. Well, what else is in the room? Normal stuff: refrigerator, microwave, silverware. So we're in the kitchen. Knives. No knife wounds, though. All oh, right. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's why he has blood on one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge, holding up a pig of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, inspector mom. <laughs> Aw, yay, I'm glad we made up. Very sweet. Man, have you guys fixed this darn road yet? <laughs> How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Wanna hear a new poem? Yes. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. <laughs> what counts as an autumn sin? What's considered an autumn crime? What's, what counts as an autumn sin? Cheating on your wife with some gas station skank. Oh my goodness. In November. Oh, right. Yeah, that's uh inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Yes, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I'll make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. <laughs> leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. <laughs> I've only got one pumpkin out today. Why'd you take your pumpkins away just because Halloween's over? The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Yeah, we can go get us some more dusk stars. 
So foggy. Miss My Borowski. Present. Mmm, <laughs> smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yeah. Come have a look. I'm gonna burn our eyeballs again. Yeah. I'm blind. It's your own fault at this point, I would say. Oop, beep, boop, beep. Star located, Captain. I I paused for a minute and I checked my audio, and I realized that this entire time it's been very quiet. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not too bad, but everything should be fine now. <laughs> All right, star located, Captain. It's a little disappointing, though. Let us consult the guide. Oh, you'll like this one. Really? Because they are dead. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy, the medium. In life, he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. <laughs> Not so. His body was dead. So he was like a zombie? But just as smart as before. Not looking for brains. No looking for brains. So like normal, but he smelled bad. Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> Alright. One. Let's see. Ooh. Big snake. <laughs> Big snake. Yep. Anything else? I saw a big snake one. Anything else? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together, and together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did a uh, big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? <laughs> big snake. Big snake. Big. Snake. That is our pair for the day. Well, gee, Willikers, Mr. Chazikov. Hehehe. <laughs> Willikers. <sighs> wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple days? <laughs> hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen daughter. <laughs> heathen. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on. Seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. <laughs> you do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hun. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda. Whatever. Alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. I don't feel right about it. 
I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's just wrong to take something. When folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm. That's because you're a good person. Huh. Uh, hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So, I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza. And I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Don't they? They had pizza at the Click Clack. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Did the Click Clack close? <laughs> Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south, and I had to keep up with the other gooses. Or I'd get lost. That's sad. Torn a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About... About Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry about the audio levels again. I'm being a big I'm being a big old dummy. <laughs> No more Harfest. But I wonder... Yeah, we haven't talked about Casey in a while. Hmm. Oh, that Fisher guy is in here. Oh my god. <laughs> my reflection in the water like freaked me out for some reason. Okay, anyway. Fishing guy is in here. That's sad. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Ooh. Shaboom. Getting the hang of this. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, my. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store for company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk. Or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, The guts of all bosses! <laughs> all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere. And he slashes the boss's tires. <laughs> wow! Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield. Wow. Go, go, granddad. Then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. <laughs> Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the wind windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley. Past the AOK -OK drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. When was this? Uh, very long time ago. Was he? Uh, so what happened with the car? Got towed away. 
Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got troublemaker blood. Heh heh heh. Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? <laughs> no. Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. You may find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did, and a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, Mai. Sooner or later. Okay. Uh, bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, my Borowski. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, uh... You should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Oh. So today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear. What are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in. And we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Oh. Yeah, did she, did she like, um, I think, um, she was trying to, she had a job interview? Did she get a job and has to, like, move for it or something? Good for her, though. Winter readiness sale at the pickaxe. Wow. Yeah, well, we'll talk to B in a minute. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. <laughs> oh, there's someone up there. One second, let me go feed my babies first. Plastic flowers are, like, super depressing, for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. True. Honestly true. Alright, my little miracle rats, time to eat! Whoa, whoa, more babies! Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food. Yes, you do. Do I have to go get another pretzel? <laughs> I'll go. I'll go try. I guess. My babies are all fed. Mama don't need to steal today. Okay. All right. Guess she just means like tomorrow or something. Oh, it's uh this guy. 
Did you go to Harfest? Yeah, uh, ended up in a play, because my friend B screwed it up. Cool, I ate pizza and watched Blood, uh, Blood Gorgon. Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from, like, 1980. Lots of blood, but it's, like, theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school, bunch of ghosts kidnapping them. Taking them to the... to the Blood Gorgon? Yeah. Is something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Ugh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You see someone messed up in the mural tunnel? Oh, you see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. I mean, very weird and bad. <laughs> Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, a whole town full of suspects. Huh. Used to sometimes see other people up here. Is this not a thing anymore? Am I just old and out of touch? Whatever. It's awesome. I'm gonna put up a tent and camp out here. <laughs> Would definitely roll off and die. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got like really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still, like, putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly. Breaks supplies for fun. And leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still. Whoa. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. No, past abilities. Whoa. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. It's wet again. And I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh... Why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. <laughs> What's in the news? Dumb girl slips off ledge, dies on street below. Oh, jeez. Area cranky man haunted by screaming poltergeist. Soggy corpse hardly recognizable, identified by teeth. Area man dies of heart attack from being scared by hooting, holler, and pan phantom. Evidence shows girl was pushed. Alright, alright. Oh, hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, you. Working here now? Yep, sucks. Why'd you leave the pickaxe? Bro. But it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Grill man and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. <laughs> Germ, whoa. Okay. Hey. Sup, kid? Sniff, sniff. You smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? 
Yeah. Oh, weird. That, like, makes you half cop. You'll never have... You'll never have catch me, half coppa. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You go to Harfest? Nah. Over it. Cool. I had a kind of weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Dunno. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Casey. We haven't talked about him in a while. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Aw, oh, Casey stuff. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk. Do you actually, like, like watching us play? Yeah. I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash crossover, hip-hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that Doom shit, right? Did a, did a Durga. Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like, a guy from the Drax. Ooh. Uh, what did you do? It was like some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude. Take this turn out of the parking lot. And start creeping up the hill. Like, 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. Uh, I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ah. Uh. I'm so upset right now. Uh, I know, right? See ya. <laughs> Charm, you can't just say shit like that thing. Walk away. Oh my god. Yeah, that's real weird and creepy. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone. Like, a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, Mai. Ugh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. Mai, there's been no missing person no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting! This this right here, this is a report. My, there's no break in the fence. So? So, unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing? Any theories, my? It could have gone around the fence. I don't know, my. This fence goes out along the parking lots. Almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence... Ugh. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit. And people scared of clotheslines and noises. I- you- you- ugh. Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. Oh my god. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence. Really, am I? No, yes, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Ugh. Will you at least check the woods? My, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning. Because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine. We found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That could be it. That is it. Hmm. The cop always dies. Mm-mm. 
Yeah, it's so much going on. Alright, well I guess... I guess it's just fan practice time. What's up, dude? Ugh. Uh? Long night. Weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. We gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Uh, back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Ready to play. Yeah. Go convince Greg. He's all slow today. Can do. Hey, Angus. Hey, hey, my... What's up? Uh, nothing. I'm having a very boring week. Jeez, I'm envious. Eh. So how about that demon tower? Yeah, I gotta play more of that. What do you think? I don't know yet. Haven't gotten too far. It's good. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. He's <laughs> so cute. Well, all right then. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby, up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building. <laughs> Bro, don't do that. Uh, yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Pumpkinhead guy. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo I figured there would be a difficulty spike, but... Oh my god, <laughs> this is not going well. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, I'm killing them with how bad I'm doing. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> we are all fucking dead. That was so bad, wow. Wow, my, that was a uh, pretty bad is what that was. I literally do not know this song. Ooh, so fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after, while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something, because this is scary. 
Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file. Going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh, wow. I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just, like, a broken down bun old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. The library. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Ooh, the music. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. <laughs> Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Looks like someone left a, uh, something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Oh, if I did the math, I could figure out what year this game takes place in. I guess 2017? I guess that's when the game came out. Let's see. Experience mining. Construction. Well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean... You should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be, like, guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? <laughs> Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult. You were under some curse. Where a cute thing followed you around. 24-7, yelling about, like, sharing and not littering, and paying taxes. 
Well, that's an important, uh, skill. I was five. I'm 20 now and I still haven't paid taxes. Charity Barity goes to a state infrastructure budgeting meeting. Ugh, I forgot the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity. Oh no, austerity. <laughs> What's that? Reason the two bridges in, in and out of Saltstown are still closed. Oh wow, you still can't, like, go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity. Danger every rarity. That's vague. And disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. Sniff sniff. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. It sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain-like fence, or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's, like, somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. <laughs> All right, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww. Aww. Ugh. Aw, we friends, B twins? <laughs> here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move! I'm steering! Ow! Jeez, my... I'm sorry. Okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Tragedy at Stafford Mine. An explosion occurred at 6.20 a.m. at the Stafford Mine. All work has ceased while men attempt to rescue any survivors. So far, three men have been pulled out alive along with 20 dead. The explosion occurred 10 miles deep in the mine, and only one group of men were able to escape before the elevator's rope snapped, ugh, and the next group of men plummeted to their death. So far, hopes of finding more survivors is low. The main path to the tunnel caved in due to the explosion and supervisors still attempting to piece together exactly where everyone was during the accident. Hmm. New old store in town center. The old pickaxe hardware store, it's where B works, is set to have its grand opening this Saturday. We received a sneak peek of the store yesterday, and our town will benefit greatly from this new addition. Roy Berg, Berger Burge, is bringing 25 years of building experience into his new venture and has stocked the shelves with all the nuts, bolts, and nails you would need for any project, plus the latest in tools. Stop by to see the latest trends and everything from hardware to hammers. Best of luck to Mr. Burge. Possum Massacre. Severe violence broke out at the Stafford Mine Strike today. Ooh. The bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown at the National Guard and strikebreakers opened fire on the crowd. Who knew? 
After a few minutes of smoke cleared and the gory scene revealed, nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle who were on strike below when the shooting broke out. Oh my god. The photograph of the two children, seven and nine, oh, who were shot in cold blood had circulated far outside our little county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site to meet with strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began. 45 days since the start of the strike, the bosses have agreed to, complete, to comply to the current safety standards and to honor the demands of the miners. Jeez. Strike. The strike at Stafford Mine has been called. The idea first arose after the memorial for 1888 explosion victims. Miners gathered in the home of Arthur Browski. Hmm. Arthur Browski. To continue the memorial to their friends. They also began recounting all of the promises the bosses had Rene Reneged? Reneged? On this past year, including basic safety measures to avoid another explosion. A group of 20 miners entered the mines to begin the strike and 30 more joined them before morning. All work has been stopped at the mine and the miners are now striking in 8 hour shifts. Their wives and children have begun to bring food and water for the men. Bosses have stated that the miners are safer than they were a year ago and that there is no need to act on this manner. Pie piracy. Dear citizens, please make note to keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather we are experiencing. Several leaders have reported pies from their kitchens disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, the picky culprit is leaving behind only the rhubarb pies. Until this criminal is caught or the bad weather returns, we remind our housewives to make use of their pies safe indoors or stick to rhubarb. Events. The last trolley will make its run September 4th. Bernie Goss, the longest employee with 25 years as an operator, will pick up passengers starting at the Market Street Tunnel entrance and will end at the trolley garage where light refreshments will be served and a speech will be given by the congressman Archibald Reed. Twin Club will be meeting at the Stags on Wednesday night at 6pm. This month's craft will be knitted hats for the soldiers along with potluck. All mothers of twins of any age are welcome. Deep Hollow County mourns. The final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion have been recovered two days shy of the one year anniversary of the tragedy. Oh my. These five men bring the total of dead to 112. Two of the men, Addison Pine and Henry Harvey, were the ones who set off the explosion. Although mine bosses had been informed that gas pockets are present in that section, they elected to not inform Pine and Harvey of the possible danger. Hmm. The other three bodies belong to Peter Bledsoe, Christian Stanoff, and Peter La La Lava. Peter Lava's funeral arrangements will be handled by Father Litz's as the man's window has since returned to Hungary with his two orphans. Strange But True, A Tale of Teeth. Strange But True is our ongoing series about the weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Hollow County history and culture published weekly. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history, and this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything, with many a slur, and punched the miners' leader, Darnell Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. Hmm. So, hmm. We've got... Arthur Browski. And then the tooth, and we have a tooth. We have a tooth. Hmm. The miners knew how much Darnie's tooth meant to him, and they descended on the boss. A few held the boss down while others removed all his teeth with pliers. Ugh, ugh. The teeth were passed out to the miners.
and a secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Membership was based on owning one of these teeth, and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around the coal patch to organize meetings and make announcements. The boss survived his attack, but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. When died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed before going out for retribution. All would gather round, place their teeth into the sockets, and later retrieve their tooth after the retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally, a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth with strange markings in their home. Strange, but true. Oh, I can't- I wanted to see if maybe my drawing had, like, a, a marking in it. Huh. Interesting. Oh, wow. This is gnarly. And awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, I, oh, there's comments on all of them. Uh, this is interesting, but... Yeah, not exactly about a ghost. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. This one. No ghost. No ghost here. No ghost here. No ghost here. Oh, I didn't read this one. The Stanley T. Possum statue, known by residents as Posse, is finally slated for demolition. Posse closed in 1967, but Richard Coulson, son of Samuel, had hopes of refurbishing the statue for new generations. Posse stood silent for close to 60 years, witnessing the beginnings of the demise of the railroad, the mines, and the coke works that ushered in his existence. Teens and other vandals broke into Posse over the years, and climbing up through Posse became a rite of passage for many young people in the area. Residents have been torn over what to do with their, the beloved but derelict structure over the years, but three years ago, pressure began mounting to have it torn down. A storm knocked off Posse's ear, and the next year, Ralph Jenkins fell from the staircase and broke both legs. Samantha Coulson, Glick, daughter of Richard, finally agreed that it was time for Posse to go. The demolition will begin at 12 p.m. on Saturday, and viewing areas will be set up at a safe distance. Sam that Coulson has purchased 10 acres of land on the outskirts of Possum Springs. When we inquired as to what Mr. Coulson would use the land for, he would only remark that what was coming here would delight both young and old for years to come. Hmm. The Stanley T. Possum statue has officially been opened to the public, and we have to say we are smitten. For two cents, one can enter Stanley and spend quite a lovely time looking the Possum Springs of yesteryear in the museum, enjoying some popped corn and fresh lemonade in the snack parlor decorated with Tiffany glass electric lights before heading up a full 10 feet to see the sights of our beloved town through the eyes of this grand possum. There's even a beautiful train diorama that would, will delight both young and old. We predict Stanley T. Possum will be a sight that all passing through our town will desire to behold and will be sure to draw many crowds. There's so many. <laughs> Spectral happenings. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state forest hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the love lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Hey, look at this! Uh, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. It's actually probably only a mile or so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements. 
or corpse husbands. Co-signed. Sound off opinion line. We would like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. This unsanitary habit is unseemly and beneath you. Parents, please be sure your daughters are not participating in the new trend of skirts showing the ankles. I do not think we need to remind you which road of brimstone this temporary fashion trend will lead your daughters down. Jeez. I've been witnessing more and more teenage girls coming into our town on a Saturday night unchaperoned, using vulgar slang terms, certainly unfit for me to print here, and blocking the sidewalks by walking arm in arm. And they are loud and also flirt with boys unabashedly while smoking cigarettes. These young ladies need to be stopped before our young ladies get any ideas or our boys fall in love with the wrong girl. <laughs> young men have been seen around Possum Springs engaging in the ridiculous behavior of wearing mismatched patterns in their suits. This type of outfit may be all the rage in Bright Harbor, but good luck getting any respectable businessman around here to employ you. You all look like rabid clowns. <laughs> wow. Councilman Puch... Puchinskaya's Puch plan for 3rd Street is a joke. What else is there to say? Those sure are opinions. Ghostly rumors. We'll check out the ghost ones last. Strike lumbers on. The strike is now in its 30th day with no end in sight. The bosses have refused to meet with the miners, saying their demands are too fantastical. The miners claim they are only asking the bosses to adhere to safety standards that are already the law. The National Guard was called in after last week's scuffle, and the Colson Coke Works Union has joined the cause which has caused an uptick in national press arriving at the site. The women's camp has expanded its services from serving meals to beating any non-union miner from entering the mines. So far they've been successful in both ventures. Hmm. So interesting. There's been another sighting of the albino groundhog from a albino Jesus groundhog from a very reliable source of time. Edgar Studer reports that he saw the pure white beast sticking near Shade Gap. Mr. Studer has declined to give any more of an exact location and implores his fellow hunters to adhere to this anomaly from afar and leave him to his business. We could not agree more with this upstanding citizen and remind townsfolk that if you are interested in seeing an albino creature, to stop by Studi's barbershop for a peek at an albino raccoon. Of suities. We're certain this will assist your mind in completing the search for the groundhog. Progress Springs in Possum Springs. Randolph Stafford, owner of the Bell's Hole Mine Works, has partnered with Samuel Colson, owner of Colson Coke Works, Daniel Glick, railroad mag magnate, and prominent business owner Harrison Shrygeist to make some stunning improvements throughout the town. The four men desire to build a model of progressive living right here in Possum Springs. The old miners' double houses on Elm Street will be torn down and replaced with spacious single homes. A new elementary school will be opened nearby along with a new state-of-the-art recreation center courtesy of Arnold Applebaum. This is in addition to the improvements Randolph Stafford promised the previous striking miners. Hmm. There's like so much information. <laughs> I don't know if it's all, all processing in my head. Local ghost little Joe added again. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, per purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade. Oh, I think um, Germ mentioned Little Joe. Maybe I could be misremembering. A miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago is a favorite spooky story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, and as such, Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers. You may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Oh, look! Scooch so I can see. Graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, 
that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could how could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. I don't think I read this one. Underground gases afflict many. The houses on Larch Street have been evacuated after the discovery of gas built up in the basements was found to have led to hallucinations in scattered members of the households. For the past several weeks, residents have been complaining of family members who began hearing voices or seeing things that were not there. One older woman was found having an animated discussion with an empty chair. When pressed, she calmly explained that she was talking to her sister who had passed away some 50 years ago. Two nights ago, the son of Carson Zimmer ran out of the house and leapt into Cooper's Pond, a one mile up, up the road. Moments before, the child had, be had been re readying for bed and according to another sibling became increasingly agitated. The last words he uttered were about some sort of song before he dashed out of the house and into the night where his watery grave awaited him. This last event persuaded residents to request help from officials to see if this is related to St. Leuven's Lantern, a phenomenon where exposure to specific underground gases leads to certain victims to experience waking dreams, auditory hallucinations, and the sense of unseen presences. Preliminary tests indicate that gases present in the homes and mining officials are moving the residents until more tests can be completed. All right, that's interesting. I almost wonder if there's like a gas leak in my house. Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. The Possum Springs Historical Society's conversion of the Shrygeist House into its new headquarters and educated center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Newsom has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I, I'd be there after hours doing my work and I hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was never nobody there, said Nisome. Trying to get this map room operational for the children all the while, I'm looking over my shoulder expecting to see God knows what. Mr. Newsome had previously requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go to the off-limits area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor and then only go to the office. I know the others laugh, say I'm uh, seeing Little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe, for the uninitiated, was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Nusome's claims at this time. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical Society. History that won't stay history. In a history place history place yeah I've never been you didn't go back in school I think this was when I wasn't in school oh after the softball incident the what yeah mostly just watch TV and did therapy well it's actually a pretty cool old house used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something railroad mine steel mill something like that an actual haunted house? Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. <laughs> Let's boogie. Also, is that it? I think I, I think I looked at everything. Three clues, we got three leads. You're a regular detective. Maya Borowski, a detective of ghosts. Alright, alright, let's go. So, we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? <laughs> do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards. Don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cards and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. 
so I can't drive you around all those spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool. I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Hello? Ahem. Is that, is that Selmer's or am I going crazy? What is... Is that Miss Qualsey? Oh, wow. Haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher's survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to repair those bridges into Saltstown. There you go. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Opossum Springs Poetry Society. Oh, they probably use Salmers then. Do you want to stick around for this? Yes. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones. Oh, Fisherman Jones! And Selma and Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? Yeah. How'd she end up here? Who knows? Ahem. Letter to my worst student. To my worst student, the subject of my stories. I tell friends back home when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did... You key my car. I know it was you, <laughs> Brian. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Is that legal? Poor Miss Qualsey. At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones is a poem for us. Two, two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time. Born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, amphibie? <laughs> That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about what fish think. That tunnel always spooks me. Finally, a poem by Selma and, F and Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, Mai. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> no reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. World warehouse buying jobs became rent paying jobs became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access. Access to politicians waiting for us to die. Let in our waters alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house in a yard. With a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Force 24-7 entre entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house in the yard. 
Some night I'll catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicone city to the ground. Oh my, Selmers. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was that the, was the assumption that she didn't write hers? Nice work, Smeller. Smell a Smelmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? <laughs> Poets of Possum Springs, aww. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Found anything about your ghost? Yeah. <laughs> Cute. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. <laughs> Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Craig and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. <laughs> What places were you talk, uh, thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The historical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So, what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. <gasps> I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home. And do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. <laughs> A good poet. Thought if I die, Selmer should write a poem about it. <laughs> ugh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The ugh. Yeppers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smartassness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So, we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. My, it's fine. It's okay, I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Hey, Maya. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's a pretty straight shot to up, uh, up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. <laughs> okay, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. <laughs> That's more like it. 
I'm falling asleep. I had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. <laughs> Wait, did you fall asleep? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Yo, I looked up the, the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something? Haunted pools would be actually be scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Bedtime. Ooh. Whoa, Ooh. Oh, so pretty. I really like this one. The song. Yeah, I really love this violin part. these visuals. Ugh. Well, all right. That's that's two days down, so that's going to be it for this one. I feel like it kind of went on a little bit longer than than usual. I think the, these past two days felt like pretty long. Not in a bad way, just there was a lot of stuff going on. All right, so, wow. There's a lot of information <laughs> that's going to have to be processed. But, all right. Yeah, that's it for this one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.